That's why I shot the Father's Day report. At this time, we play Exhibit 67 on the ones the Father's Day. All right. I woke up this morning on Father's Day, and I was holding my young infant daughter in my arms. And I don't say this to try to act cool like I'm on the inside because I'm not. This was so widespread. Uh, my mother had some friends that were involved in sacrificing children to demon gods. And I remember being a small child on road trips with them to the beach. You know, my mom and her girlfriends. And, you know, because I was a little kid, she, I would go with them interdimensionally with other entities. So, and I remember sitting there in the back of the car listening to this particular woman um, who was describing people eating little children. I mean, just blood and dead bodies everywhere. I mean, it, it's insane sitting out on the back porch hearing the birds sing and it just brought tears to my eyes thinking about my mom had a uh, super beetle to arkansas for a week with her friend and so you're in the back cutting your son's testicles off cutting your daughter's breast off reading comic books or sleeping the vampire pinned to the ground with a sickle across her throat or eating candy on father's day i want to reach out to the parents of the slain children at the horrible tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut, and give you my sincere condolences. I'm trying to explain to people that not everybody that's pushing this is, is, is corrupt or those are part of this. I'm not judging anybody that's taking hallucinogens. I've done it myself plenty when I was younger. But I did have dark experiences some of the times I did it. And I know it opens you up to some bad stuff. Right now is a time for unity and peace in our country, I think, now more than ever.